Hi, I'm Cathy Johnston. I came to a personal faith in the Lord Jesus Christ 40 years ago at the age of 31. Since then I've learned that God knew me and loved me before I was even born and that he had a special plan and purpose for my life and was working it out even when I didn't know it. I was born in the West End of Glasgow into a good working class Catholic family. My father wasn't a practicing Catholic, but my mother was and she made sure the family did too. My mother was a, an honest, God-fearing woman with a heart for God, but she didn't know about his love in Christ, nor his plan of salvation. And I only found this out when my father died, when I was age 15. It was through my father's death that I felt to examine my beliefs, especially where I would go when I died. And I found then that I had no peace or hope about going straight to heaven when I died, to live in God's presence forever. When I looked to my mother and my family for the truth, they didn't know either. God says that if we seek him with all our hearts, we'll find him. And without me realising it, God had heard my prayer and he would answer it in his own time and in his own ways, which was 16 years later when I was 31. During the next 16 years, I went on to get married. But sadly, after nine years, I was forced to divorce my husband because of his mental and physical abuse. Initially, I was left homeless and penniless and couldn't see a way forward. I felt totally broken, but in my brokenness, I cried out to God for his help. Unawares to me, God had heard my prayer and his kingdom was about to break into my life and turn it around forever. Over the next year, the Lord supplied me with a new home and a job. And then by chance, I bumped into Alan Johnson, an ex-boyfriend I hadn't seen since my teenage years. Alan seemed more than keen to tell me he'd become a Christian. But I noticed that he spoke about God in a way that I had never heard before. Over the months, Alan and I continued to meet up and we spoke more about God's plan of salvation. And it was Alan that told me that Jesus is the truth, the way and the life and that God loved me so much that he gave his son Jesus to die and rise again so that I could receive forgiveness for my sins and his gift of eternal life. I didn't have to wait till I died to receive it. I could receive it here and now through faith in Jesus. I believed the good news about Jesus and I accepted him as my Lord and Saviour. At that moment, he came to live in my life by his Spirit and I was filled and overwhelmed by his love, joy and peace. At last I knew all was well with my soul because of everything Jesus had done on my behalf. My encounter with Jesus was life-changing from the inside out. I felt that I no longer wanted to live my life to please myself, but only to please Jesus. So I started reading my Bible and praying every day, and I couldn't wait to tell my mother and my family the good news about Jesus. Jesus gave his all for me, and I wanted to give my all for, for Jesus. And a few months later, during the Lewis Palau Crusade in the Kelvin Hall in Glasgow, I felt the drawn power of the Holy Spirit to go forward and surrender my whole life to Christ. Alan and I went on to get married, and after some time, we felt led to worship along with our two young children in a small mission hall in Glasgow, where we eventually became involved in the various children's ministries. 
It was during that time that Alan and I had the great joy of leading my mother and my two sisters and their husbands to faith in Christ and to see them go on to worship and serve in the mission hall along with some of their children. A few years later, Alan and I had the desire to serve the Lord overseas as missionaries and felt called to study full time at the Bible Training Institute in Glasgow. Alan for three years and myself for one year. It was during that final year that the Lord showed us through closing doors that this was not part of his plan for our lives. This was a difficult time for us, but through prayer and trusting God to give us light for the next step in his will, we were eventually shown what his will actually was. We felt led to start a group in a local community centre to support parents who had children with drug and alcohol problems. God opened doors for this to happen and over the next year or so, some of the members of the group came to faith in Christ and they too went on to worship and serve the Lord in the Mission Hall as well, along with their families. Over the years, Alan had suffered from bad health on and off, but in 2008, it started to deteriorate and we moved through to Dunfermline to get support from our daughter. Sadly, three years later, he went to be with the Lord but because of our sure hope in Christ, I know I'll see both him and my other loved ones when I get to heaven. God continued to work out his plans and purposes in my life after Alan died. And I went on to serve as an elder with the Church of Scotland and then with Headwell Church of the Nazarene, where I had the joy of seeing some of the ladies in the church come to faith in Christ and be baptised. Sadly, the church closed down in January 2019, at which point we all felt led to worship in Viewfield Baptist Church. I thank God for the church and for this opportunity to share my journey of faith with others. I pray that others like me will seek the Lord with all their hearts and find him and that they too will come to experience the love of God in Christ and go on to know his good plans and purposes for their lives too. And may God bless you today and in the days to come.